Last week, President Joe Biden quietly made a couple of nominations to the Postal Service Board of Governors. Now, the post office, of course, has been suffering under Trump appointee and donor. Uh, he was a mega donor, Lou DeJoy, who had made some pretty big cuts to the service, uh, which has caused slow, you know, slowdowns and, and, and delays and increased prices for, for mail and, and packages, and had even broken down machines, uh, you know, causing uh, issues with workers not being able to do uh, overtime, not being able to actually get packages out on time. And of course, there was a whole attempting to mess with, uh, with the mail during the election to make it so that certain ballots would arrive late and possibly not be counted. And so now progressives thought, okay, uh, look, we, we work for Biden. We got him elected. All right, uh, Biden, get rid of DeJoy. Get rid of DeJoy. Now, look, uh, Biden can't just fire DeJoy. That's, he's not able to do that. He doesn't have the constitutional ability to do that. Uh, however, he can nominate postal uh, board uh, uh, governors, uh, right? Uh, uh, postal Service Board of Governors. Uh, he, can, he can nominate people to it. And they can get confirmed, and then they can vote to remove Louis DeJoy. Now, will that happen? Uh, it appears, no, it will not. Save the post office. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, not going to happen. What? What, 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 do you, what do you think I was going to actually do the things that I campaigned on? I mean, I, it's not like I canceled student loan debt, right? <laughs> or, or, oh, public option. Come on. Come on, come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. You dog-faced pony soldiers. You expect me to actually do something? So now look, let me give you some more of the details, right? Last week, uh, two uh, gentlemen were nominated to serve on the USPS's Board of Governors. That's Dan Tangerlini, who's Democrat, and Derek Kahn, who is a Republican. Uh, so now they've been appointed and they're most likely to be confirmed. Uh, now, does that mean, of course, that they're going to vote for DeJoy? How will I know? Well, as, as I just mentioned, Kansas a Republican who worked in the Trump administration. And for Senator Mitch McConnell. Very unlikely that that guy is going to disapprove of the job that Louis DeJoy is doing in the post office. Uh, again, they've cut services, cut funding, things like that. Uh, and so, and raised prices and did all this stuff to try to make the post office, well, to try to privatize it, essentially. Now, two of other uh, uh, Biden's confirmed nominees have also shown absolutely no desire to do any change of leadership at the post office. Now, some of you are asking, why does Biden, why is Biden appointing Republicans? Well, now, by law, the board can have no more than five nominees from the same political party. Now, Joe Biden has so far, I believe, got three to four nominees. But apparently all of them agreed that nothing will fundamentally change. That's what Biden, of course, told his donors in private. And so, oh, nothing will fundamentally change. Great. Great. Uh, let's guess. Let's continue to privatize the post office. So now earlier this month, there was also news that the board, uh, or that I should say that Joe Biden declined to renominate Ron Bloom. Now, Ron Bloom, of course, uh, was the uh, former chairman uh, of the USPS Board of Governors and a gigantic Trump ally. So now uh, people celebrated and they're like, oh, okay, if we want to change the post office and save it, we got to get rid of Ron Bloom. So Joe Biden gets rid of Ron Bloom. And now, here's what happened. The board then unanimously elected Roman Martinez. Roman Martinez is a retired investment banker who is now chairman. <laughs> Martinez, who was also nominated by then-President Trump to the board, had praised DeJoy's tenure, saying that, quote, he is the person to carry out the restructuring that is needed. He is a transformational leader. Mm. So, uh, that means, here we go, you might want to get used to Louis DeJoy 
and the continued privatization of the post office that will eventually come. Uh, and, uh, well, because as Joe told his donors, nothing will fundamentally change. And surprise, when somebody tells you who they are, believe them. <laughs>